Welcome back to the Coach Derek, Bur Derek Burrow Show. My name is Cesar Kiespe alongside Coach Derek Burrows. Uh, we're going to take some time now to go over some of the uh, recaps of this game, uh, Coach. So talk to us a little bit about this game against um, the Steers of Texas College. Well, uh, again, uh, we had a game plan. Uh, we were, wanted to go in and uh, bring a lot of pressure uh, to make the quarterback throw the ball a little bit faster than he, than he wanted to. We had an offensive game plan to come in and run the ball. Uh, we gained over 300 yards rushing. Uh, so I'm very proud of our kids that, uh, that we accomplished uh, what we wanted to set out on, on, to accomplish on both sides of the ball this week. Definitely. Well, let's go ahead and uh, show some of those folks that are at okay. home today. Uh, let's go ahead and show them some of the footage from this weekend's game. Uh, this first clip is going to be of Whitney Richardson getting the, getting the first, uh, first sack of the year. Uh, and uh, he's a transfer from uh, Arizona Christian, followed by Ray Taylor, who's a sophomore all-conference uh, defensive end for us. Uh, and then uh, uh, the first interception of the year uh, came from uh, Justin Hill. And uh, he caught one in the corner, and uh, very proud of that kid. Didn't get a chance to get any interceptions last year, and uh, just very proud of him. Uh, uh, this, uh, this next clip, uh, uh, great tackle by uh, Marius Pitts. Uh, uh, wasn't slated as a starter for us, came in, did a great job for us. And, uh, and uh, they were backed up and tried to run a screen on us. And uh, here's Demarius Pitts again, coming up making a great uh, form tackle on, uh, on their receiver. Uh, did a great job for us. Okay, was backed up. We almost had a quarterback sack. We made him turn it loose quick. And uh, Justin Hill came up and made his second interception for the day. Very proud of him also. Um, they tried to go deep on us. Uh, Kenny Hill, uh, Kenny Williams, excuse me, using some great defensive technique. And uh, on the offensive side of the ball, um, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, that was uh, Whitney Richardson again with a nice tackle for a loss. This is uh, this is our bust. This is one of that busted, that busted coverage we spoke about earlier. Though. We had some miscommunication in the secondary and uh, kind of went down. But this is our first touchdown of the year. Fullback Justin Hill. Fullback Justin Hill scored our first one-yard touchdown. Uh, uh, Eight-yard run from Marcus uh, Holiday, transfer from uh, Murray State. And, uh, I think we wanted to hit the quick slant here, but I think the quick slant wasn't open, and, we, and uh, MJ Reynolds wind up seeing uh, local kid Terrence Kinney hit him for a touchdown in the corner. Very proud of Terrence, first college collegiate touchdown. Okay. Right here is Marcus Holiday again with outside zone play for another five yard run. And, uh, and here is one of the, uh, one of the few uh, returns we had. Uh, Jamion Dunning was uh, returning. I thought he had, I thought actually he was gonna, he was gonna score on this, uh, but he gave us great offensive field position. And uh, we're glad to have Jamie on healthy. Hope we can keep him healthy the rest of the season. Uh, and uh, we scored, and here's a, uh, a field goal by Raul Martinez. He was five for five in uh, field goal PATs. And we were proud of him. He's a true freshman uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we were just proud of our, our kids. We were proud of uh, our offense, proud of the defense, proud of the coaching staff. Everybody just did a wonderful job. Feels great to win. Definitely, Coach. I mean, a very convincing uh, performance by the Dragons, 44-6. Uh, to six. You know, the very first play of the game, like right. we talked earlier, you know, they come in and score. But right back, the right. offense comes back in and scores. Right. The defense makes huge plays, like you saw. Uh, people who played minutes last year but had a, a phenomenal yeah. start to the season. Right. So I know that must feel extremely uh, good for you, Coach. Uh, so break, talk to us a little bit about your game plan. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. You guys wanted to run the ball right. on offense and really just add a lot of pressure right. to their defense. Well, actually, what it does more, it, it takes a lot of pressure off our quarterback when we don't have to throw the ball every single down. Uh, it allows our quarterback to sit down and think, and, and uh, it takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback. He doesn't feel like he has to do so much when, he, when he's always running and scrambling. So um, 
uh, coach and I got together and, and uh, uh, said that we need to run the football. They did a hell of a job. As I said before, we had over 300 yards rushing. Wow. And uh, I don't know if we've, we've ever had 300 yards rushing uh, here at Miami. Wow. So um, your game plan as you're coming, you're finishing this, and we're talking about the great performance of the Dragons. Sure. Now we've got less than a week away. We've got Fort Valley. Right. Um, what are some of the preparations that you guys are doing on your coaching staff and some of the players? Well, you know, we, we're, in, we're breaking down film. Um, we're trying to find out what their tendencies are, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and hopefully we'll exploit some of those tendencies and weaknesses. Uh, they're a great football team. Um, they just dropped uh, one against Miles last week, uh, on Sunday, excuse me. Uh, so, um, and, and they're right now trying to figure out, you know, what they want to do to us. And so, um, there's going to be a chess match, and hopefully we'll, we'll have another one of those days like we had last week. Definitely. Now, both programs know each other extremely well. Right. Last year, uh, you guys were in Fort Valley, uh, where we dropped the nail biter yep. there towards the end. And so I know there's yep. a little bit of special feelings yep. going into this game. Well, we, we um, special is kind of an understatement. We, we were up 24 seven. And I think we kind of took our foot off the gas. Um, but that's just, that just goes to show that we're still a program that, that's learning how to win. Uh, and that's the difference between, you know, programs like our program that's coming up up, com up and coming programs opposed to established winning programs. They understand when you're up, you, you know, you can't let up, you know, and we, we're on our way, hopefully, to being a good program, and we got to learn how to win those kind of games. Now, again, this last Saturday's game, you guys really continued consistently pushing through. No. Uh, you were up by quite a few points at halftime and continued to add no. points all the way to the very end of the game. Wow. And so I know that must be a great right. uh, thing on your part. So uh, just uh, talk to us a little bit about those, some, some of the differences that you've seen here in just our closing moments of this. Well, that's, that's the difference between uh, good teams and great teams. You know, you, you got to, you know, when you come out, when you're up 30 to 6 or whatever it was at halftime, we got to, you, you got to make your kids understand the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. You got to keep playing hard. You got to finish the game. And, and as I said, I think we're on our way to being a good program, uh, but we still got to learn to once, you know, we got to learn to close the game out. We got to learn to finish. We got to learn to finish strong. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to invite you to come out this Saturday, uh, September the 10th, when the Dragons of Lane College take on the Wildcats of Fort Valley State University. It's going to be community day, open for the community. We want to embrace everyone here in Jackson. And we definitely want everyone to support us this Saturday when our Dragons, uh, who are the only college team here in Jackson, take on the Wildcats of Fort Valley State University. Stay tuned to the next segment. Better. <laughs>